Well, this is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? <sighs> Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack. So there's time. But nothing escapes the Keeper's reach. Mumia, how do we find this Raven Keeper? I'd love to, brother, but I have no idea where we'd look. What if the Keeper's even still alive? We will find her. Come <laughs> on. 
the ravens, the children, appreciated it as well. Is there nothing to be done for them? Could someone bring their souls back, maybe? If there was a way to do that? I'm afraid not. Their souls would have to be intact in their original forms, not perverted. Oh. But we still did something good, right? Yes. Yes, we did. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samara involved, so instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok piece, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Surtur knows. There aren't enough giants around. And the ones that are, they're not really fighters, are they? Yes. Giants were never warlike. They were artisans, seers, philosophers, builders, but very few were warriors. Starcaver, the mighty, notably, and of course, Laufey, the just. Inserter, right? All those stories about honing his sword and training for Ragnarok? It was literally the last thing he wanted. He of giants would defeat him at Ragnarok. Because he believed that prophecy, he spent his life killing the giants off. That can't be what Groa wanted. It's complicated with giants, especially powerful seers like Groa. If she foresaw their deaths, she wouldn't have viewed them as preventable. Perhaps in supplying the justification, she honored their sacrifice and put it to use, enabling the true prophecy of their eventual survival. I see. From rest, your tent awaits. <laughs> Realm tear over there. Almost got it. 
Too. Feels good to fix my mistakes. Should we tell Rossbugger? Perhaps. We are confronted with your worst memories. What would you have done if we'd needed to return there? Stayed home. Definitely. Hello! You wish to speak with me? Something I've been meaning to ask. Once you've projected an emotional trait into spectral form, is it just gone from you? Suppose a friend wished to cast off his melancholy, or a predilection towards pining. I see. But I'm afraid it's not so simple. My spectral projections give me a measure of emotional breathing room, but it is only temporary. If I fail to reassimilate them, they start to fester. Fester? They are concentrated beings of emotion, and if left alone for too long, that emotion feeds on itself and becomes more and more, uh, pronounced. Which is why I must periodically reabsorb them, deal with their emotional baggage internally, and then eject them fully recharged. Huh. Absorbing all that emotion at once must be pretty bitter medicine to swallow. Oh, yes, it's quite unpleasant. Terrible, in fact. Do not recommend. <laughs> well, best of luck to your friend, good Master Amir. Well, stay safe, everyone. We don't do off. Oh, it's real good for wood. Better for bones. 